Hello viewers and my dear learners. Welcome to our Barrister Jomit Nishwarkar College Edit Institute online class. And this is Muhammad Azhar Islam Jewel. And you are welcome to our lessons to my topics, today's topics and today we will discuss about non-finite parts. Non-finite part. We know according to the actions verbs are of two kinds finite verb and non-finite verb. Today we will discuss about non-finite verb. Kinds of non-finite verbs. Kinds of non-finite verb. So, what is non-finite verb? We must know. We know verbs are of two kinds according to their actions and finite verb and non-finite, non-finite verb. So, finite verb, we know the definition of finite verb. A finite verb is a verb, form of verb that can function according to the gender, number, voice, duration, mood, etc. tense and non-finite verb is a form of verb that cannot function according to the tense, voice, narration, mood, gender, number. So the difference between finite and non-finite finite can function non-finite can't function cannot function this is the difference so non-finite part when any noun any noun or adjectives comes from verb these are called non-finite verb any noun or adjectives is created from verbs these are called non-finite verb. So today uh, we will discuss and we must know the definition of non-finite verb. Uh, non-finite non a non-finite verb is a form of verbs verb that cannot function that cannot function according to tense gender number voice mood etc a non finite verb is a form of verb that cannot function and it can not work as verb so it cannot work as verb it is not verb it is something other parts of speech suppose and we know non finite verb is created from verbs and the then the word of the what the neighbor word is created this word can function according to tense voice. this word cannot function this word are called some nouns or adjectives or others so 
now let's see an example let's see an example i so the boys playing cricket i saw the boys play cricket he likes to he likes to visit historical place Historical, historical places. So here we know a sentence begins with subject, then verb, and verb it works as according to tense. So it is in now in the so is in the past tense, and the voice object and playing. it does not work here as verb and it is not according to here according to tense so plain there is no auxiliary verb so plain is not a verb according to the tense so it is non finite verb here subject likes he likes to visit historical places so here likes likes works as as according to tense but to visit to visit it is not in the form of any tense so it does not work according to tense and it is called non finite verb let's see the kinds of non finite verb let's see the kinds of non finite verb non finite verbs are of non finite verb are of three infinitive but gerund infinitive verb gerund and participle i repeat non finite verbs are of three there are three cl classes of non finite verb infinitive verb gerund participle infinitive verb gerund participle what is infinitive verb let's see the structure of infinitive verb if if there is verb and before the verb there is infinite to infinite to so in infinity to that is called infinity verb to plus verb in the present form verb in the present form so this is called infinity verb so here suppose i and going to buy a car here to buy to buy is infinitive verb and it is one non finite from non finite and we know infinitive verb to plus verb in the present form before verb in the present form if there is to that is called non infinitive verb let's see let's see gerund 
let's see Girard. When any verb takes ing form, takes ing form and works as noun. Works as noun. When bar in the present bar in the present form takes ing and works as noun. This is called gerund. Suppose walking. Walking is good. Walking is good for health. Walking is good for health. Here walk is a verb, but here ing adds ing. Walk takes ing, and and it is now works as noun, so it is. Giant. It is giant. Now let's see participle. 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 What is participle? We must know the definition of participle. Participle is a form of verbs that takes ing, ed, t, ed, n, en, or before. Bhat plus ing before bhat plus ing there is having so these are called participles and participles work as adjective so when verbs takes some suffixes and then used as used as adjective these are called Participles. Suppose, suppose I saw the boy running in the field. I saw the boy running in the field. Here, yeah, running. And run takes ing and it works as adjective the boy object the boy. So this is called participle. And we know participles. And another the we will see later the example. Let's now see the kinds of participles. We know participles are of three participles are of three present participles first participle And perfect person. I repeat, participles are of three present participle, past participle, and perfect participle. And present participle, when the verb takes ing and works as noun sorry was as adjective was as adjective these are called present, present participle the verbs the verbs when takes t b e 
T N E N and work as adjective from was as adjective so these are this is called parts participle and perfect participle when the verb takes T B E D N and before that there is having before verb in the past participle form there is having so these are perfect participle i repeat present participle when the verb takes ing and works as adjective this is called present participle when the verb takes t d e d n e m and works as adjective this is called past participle and perfect participle when the verb is in the past participle form and before the past participle form there is having then it is called perfect participle now let's see some examples i went outside i went outside having my lungs here this is subject this is verb action verb and it is it works at according to tense so it is in the past tense and having is a verb but it is now it is now is in the past pa adjective having and we can add here having finished having finished my lungs having finished my lungs so here having before verb in the past participle form there is having so it is called it is now in the past participle perfect participle and another he i saw the man beggar i saw the beggar begging from door to door door to door so here subject i saw what says verb and it is now in the past indefinite tense so it what is verb but here begging takes ing beg takes ing and it works as adjective and it is present participle so here past perfect participle here present participle and another example of past past participle the letter signed signed by the headmaster was sent to the guardian guardians so here look here was sent is the verb action verb but signed it work as adjective a as it follow the it it modifies the letter so it is an adjective it is an adjective like it is work as an adjective and sign it an past participle so the difference between the, the uh, we see some examples of present participle past participle and perfect participle now i repeat again we know non finite verb is a verb form of verb that can't work cannot work according to tense voice narration gender number and non finite verbs are of three non finite verbs are of three infinitive verb 
zeroth participle infinitive verb before verb in the present form and before the verb in the present form if there is two infinitive two so this is called infinitive verb i like to play cricket here to play to play to go to run to eat to buy these are called these are infinitive verbs now zero zero when the verb takes ing and works as now this is called zero and suppose i finished my eating just i have just finished my eating eating here works as now suppose walking in the morning is good for you. walking is works as now so walking is a zero and participle we know participles are of three present participle past participle perfect participle present verb participle when the verb takes ing and works as adjective this is called present participle when the verb takes t d e d n e n and works as adjective this is called past participle triple and perfect participle when the verb is in the past participle form and before the verb there is having so having plus past participle is called perfect participle so uh, and this is end of my today's lesson uh, thank you for watching this lesson thank you very much